directed by Hideo Nakata and Masaki Nishihura based on real life events the D starring Koji Yakusho Kaoru Kobayashi and Oji Suzuka in the lead roles is finally released on Netflix as the G drama releases on the streaming platform we thought this would be the perfect time to talk about the real life inspirations of the series but before that a spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the series but if you are done watching it already kindly follow us through this video and yeah while you're at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you and let's move on the days is based on the real life fukushima nuclear accident which occurred on march 11 2011 in kuma fukushima japan the story starts when japan was struggling to get back on its feet following world war 2 and the country was in bad shape they didn't have enough to feed the country but the japanese were highly diligent people who recognized they had no choice but to improve their situation through hard efforts they began working for a brighter future and soon it appeared like there was some light at the end of the tunnel in the 1950s japan was making strides and in order to keep up with the expanding economy scientists needed to devise a source of huge energy that is when specialists decided to generate energy using uranium 235 a nuclear fuel the new source was viewed as a sign of a bright future and the japanese felt they had discovered the magic wand that would enable them to become a sophisticated and powerful nation self sufficient in every way that is how the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant's foundation was constructed but what the public failed to realize was the cost of doing so the entire ecology was devastated trees in Fukushima prefecture's Chozahara were gone water sources were poisoned and hillsides were destroyed and the irony was that we termed it development however nature has her own methods and means of reclaiming what is rightfully hers for if left to people the entire globe would be converted into a concrete mess Anyway, the calamity of the Fukushima Daiichi power plant was caused by the Tohoku earthquake, which remains the strongest earthquake ever recorded in Japan and the following wave. The earthquake generated a tsunami which pummeled Japan's shoreline with waves up to 14 meters high. However, the waves also reached the nuclear power station, damaging the emergency diesel generators and causing a power outage. The reactor's cooling pumps also ceased operating as a result of this loss. From the 12th to the 15th of March, three nuclear meltdowns, three hydrogen explosions and the discharge of radioactive pollution occurred in three distinct units due to a lack of critical reactor core cooling the nuclear disaster was the worst since the chernobyl disaster in 1986 and it joined chernobyl as the only other accident to be classified as level 7 on the international nuclear event scale or ines the radiation from the incident compelled the government to impose an even greater evacuation zone surrounding the power station totaling 20 kilometers or 12 miles in radius in total 110000 people were evacuated from the town surrounding the facility a large collaborative effort was launched in the weeks following the incident to restore heat removal from the reactors and deal with the hot fuel pools this was accomplished by hundreds of tokyo electric power company or tepco workers contractors fire fighting support and military personnel tepco personnel who had lost their houses and in some cases their families in the tsunami were forced to live in tough temporary housing to this day there is still debate over the accident because of the massive volumes of radioactive isotope polluted water that was split into the pacific ocean during and after the tragedy A plan for continued aggressive cleaning has been put in place which means that an attempt will be made to detoxify damaged regions and decommission the facility that will take 30 to 40 years from the catastrophe according to the plant management the United Nations Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation and the World Health Organization published a study in 2014 stating that there was no increase in miscarriages stillbirths or physical and mental abnormalities in newborns born after the incident the most current 2020 study confirmed those preliminary conclusions However, UNICEF agreed that the evacuation had severe consequences for people affected, including some effects on mental well-being and sociability as a result of many being relocated and losing their livelihoods. Official estimates reveal that 2313 disaster-related deaths among Fukushima prefecture evacuees and roughly 19,500 disaster-related deaths in general, in addition to those killed by the earthquake or tsunami. While many individuals question whether the 2011 accident might have been avoided, the National Diet of Japan Fukushima Nuclear Accident Independent Investigation Commission or NAIC concluded in 2012 that the incident's causes were predictable. They discovered that Tepco, the plant's operator, had failed to satisfy the fundamental safety criteria, which included conducting a risk assessment, making evacuation plans, and preparing for collateral damage. Tepco is now leading a massive decommissioning project and Fukushima revitalization, the complete details of which are available on their website. Tepco, according to the firm, is meeting its duties for the catastrophe while simultaneously doing everything 
possible to reveal Fukushima's living environment and industry. We feel that the accident of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was caused first and foremost by our selfishness, short-sightedness and distorted vision of progress. A power facility that was designed to create future energy became the greatest threat to the next generation. We believe in the notion of karma and the earthquake and tsunami when nature's way of asking us to halt our exploitive and destructive habits and for once look at the big picture to see what type of planet we are leaving behind for our future generations. The series encourages each individual to ask oneself this question. It is high time for us to begin reflecting on our own acts before it is too late and those terrifying dystopian situations shown in different contents become our reality. The series is a decent addition to Netflix's international library but it has its problems. The days tread similar ground as the 2019 series Chernobyl but it lacks the intensity and the age of the seat experience due to the plodding pacing and editing. Whatever the creators wanted to say could have been conveyed in only 6 or so episodes and we believe that the overall narrative would have been more impactful if they had been able to shorten the phase where the characters were simply moving from one unit to another as it became rather tedious to deal with after a while. The conclusion of the series was undoubtedly emotional but by the time we got there we had already lost interest. Though the performances were great and the real life inspiration is moving so the series automatically becomes a moving tale of humanity and perseverance. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video, do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching the days on Netflix, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off, Jane, it's going to be another channel and I'll be back.